Film 4 is behind some of my favourite films of all time. Um, you've got This Is England, 24 Hour Party People, Four Lions, Train Spotting, East Is East, and, and you know, the last couple of years is no exception. There's been some brilliant films um, Shame, uh, The Iron Lady, uh, Seven Psychopaths. But I'd say my favourite film of the last couple of years that has come you know, through Film 4 is, is Danny Boyle's Trance with James McAvoy. The basic premise of the film is you've got a group of robbers who go to rob uh, this art painting, which is worth tens of millions of pounds, but inevitably something goes wrong, and one of the characters, actually James McAvoy's character, gets amnesia and forgets where he puts it. So the, as the film goes on, they use hypnotherapy and all this sort of thing to try and get James McAvoy's character to remember where the painting was. Obviously, I haven't done the plot any sort of adjustments at all, and Danny Boyle puts his, you know, Danny Boyle stamp on the film and, and, and makes it really one of my favourite films of the last couple of years. One of my favourite things about the film is, is the beginning, really, and, and the way that you're just shoved straight into the action and you know exactly what's going, going, going on. Quite often with these sort of films, you know, they're, they're two, two and a half hours long, very slow build up. You're looking at your watch, waiting for something to happen. But but with this one, you're thrown straight in there, and you know what this is about. You can see because James McAvoy is narrating. Um, this is about a paint robbery, etc. And you know where you stand. I also really like the fact that you're not sure what's whose side you're on. Quite often, this with these films, there's a there's a good guy and there's some bad guys, and you know it's good versus evil. Good prevails. You're not sure whose side you're on. I mean, to begin with, I'm on James McAvoy's side, but that's only because I like him from Shameless, really. Um, but, you know, as it goes on, there's sort of three people's perspectives, and you're not on any of their side, really, because none of them are good. They're all fighting against each other. Um, and that's sort of... I, I like that, because I, I haven't got that in a film before. I really like the fact that you're made to think in this film. The, the topic of hypno hypnosis, which is very apparent in this film is something that most of us, and me particularly, are not familiar with. I don't know anything about hypnosis or, you know, sort of delving into the mind and all this sort of thing. So you're made to think and, and, and sort of keeps you engaged again uh, with what's going on in the film. And I think it comes back to that of this film. You're always engaged. Makes you think. Music, colours, shots, Danny Boyle, James McAvoy. Great film.